Now we're going to set up an even more interesting way of doing C2 redirection. We're going to use Apache as a reverse proxy and we'll implement some filtering for non-C2 traffic. This way, C2 traffic will arrive to the C2 server while non-C2 traffic will be redirected to google.com. So let's take a look at how we can do this. First, we'll start by changing directory to the Apache folder. We'll delete the existing Apache configurations. We'll also delete redirector.local Apache site folder. We'll recreate that folder so that we know we're starting from fresh. We'll also copy the default index HTML site page that Apache comes with to the redirector.local page folder that we just created. Then we're going to modify the extension.conf to .conf.bak for the default Apache files. That way we make sure we're not going to cause any sort of conflicts and the redirector.local configuration file for our reverse proxy site will be loaded. This is the file that will contain the conditional rules for non-C2 traffic to be redirected away from our C2 server. Finally, we're going to empty the contents of this file and we're going to edit the file with nano and we'll include the file with the actual configuration we want. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Nano is opened and we paste our configuration. So let's go on the configuration line by line. First, we have the virtual host directive instructing Apache to listen on port 80 TCP. Then we have our server name and alias directives that indicate that the DNS record or domain name for our Apache site is redirected to local. We have some logging set up for errors and custom uh, access logging. And we have also the document root directive set to look for the site files under var www.html redirector.local. Couple of conditional rules for the proxy directive. Any HTTP request that contains forward slash C2 forward slash as a URI is going to include our C2 traffic. Now, I want you to keep this in mind. This is very important. And this is exactly what differentiates C2 traffic from non-C2 traffic. Now, if this condition is met, Apache is going to rewrite HTTP header to send the request to our C2 server on the IP address of the C2 server 192.168.1.166. Let's take a look here and we can see that this was the IP address of our C2 server. We have a packet capture set up on the C2 server as well so that once we enable the redirection with Apache as a reverse proxy, we'll see the traffic come in into the C2 server. Now, what else? Here we have a rewrite rule that will do something to protect your C2 infrastructure. We're rewriting any other traffic that does not meet this URI forward slash C2 forward slash with a 302 HTTP code and redirect it to google.com. So what this will look like effectively is that any traffic that is not that is sent to our HTTP reverse proxy will be sent to Google if it does not contain the C2 forward slash C2 that you're seeing here. Now, what does that look like in Mythic though? Well, in Mythic, we need to set a profile for the redirector to make sure that the get request URI is using the URI that you have in your rewrite conditional rule. This is very important because this is what will indicate the C2 implant to send the traffic appending the C2 forward slash in the URI portion of the HTTP request. If you forget this, your C2 implant traffic will be sent to google.com and we do not want that. So next we're going to save and we're going to use this next block of scripts or one-liners to enable the site in Apache. First, we're changing directory into the Apache sites available. We're enabling the following Apache modules, SSL, rewrite, proxy, proxy, HTTP, proxy balancer, LB method by request and deflate. And then we're enabling the redirector.local.conf file that we had just modified with the set of commands earlier. This is the one that contains the proxy rules. Next, we're restarting and reloading Apache and we are outputting the status of Apache from systemctl and then we're going to output the status of Apache from Apache control. We're seeing that Apache server has been started successfully and we're also seeing that the Apache control outputs that we have one site listening on port 80 using the configuration that we just wrote before with the proxy rules. Things are looking good. So let's set up our packet capture. With our packet capture set up, we can now take a look and issue some web requests and see what this C2 redirection looks like. So first we're going to send a web request to our redirector.local from the target. This is loading the Apache default site as expected. 
Now let's send a web request with a different URI than the one that we have set up for C2 traffic. This redirects us to Google. And as you can see, the traffic arrives at the C2 server with a get request of C3 in the URI. And then the C2 server issues a HTTP 302 code for redirect. If on the other hand, we try to do C2 forward slash, we will, we will expect to see the traffic on the C2 server because of the redirection through the proxy conditional directive in the Apache configuration. As expected, we're, we have our traffic being sent from the C2 redirector to the C2 server. We see the get request with get forward slash C2 forward slash. And if we were to try now a request to C4, which is not in our proxy configuration, we'll be met with a redirection to Google. We can see that as well by pulling the developer tools. We're sent to Google with a 302. Let's take a look at that. C4 gets a 302 redirect to google.com. If we try again to C2 where the C2 server is, we get a 404, which is issued by the C2 server, which we can see here. 404 not found. Excellent. Now we know that our C2 redirection is working. So what we can do next is run our payload. Our payload, we will see, will connect and register to the mythic callbacks list. We'll run our payload. Our payload is running. We see the redirector getting the C2 traffic. And we can see that the C2 server is also getting that C2 traffic. We see that the C2 traffic is issuing a URI path of C2 forward slash. And we can see that the callback has been registered in Mythic just a moment ago. We can do the same test we do to see the traffic happening at a higher frequency, changing the slip, sleep command to interactive. we'll see in just a second how the chatter increments and happens continuously. That's all we have for today. And this is how you set up a reverse proxy to issue C2 redirection via Apache, as well as how to protect your C2 server from prying eyes from anyone else that is trying to reach it and does not know how exactly you've configured it. There's many ways of configuring this. You can do it with a condition based on the user agent. In this case, however, we did the condition based on the URI. So any traffic that contains this URI is sent to the C2 server. Any traffic that doesn't contain it is redirected to google.com. Thank you very much.